right along was bringing the main line um, out from the uh, the rail yard area around into the actual beginning of the the layout and I got the first industry set um, it's gonna be like a little chemical plant um, but uh, and already came across my first problem this turnout does not work so unfortunately this turnout has to be replaced so I'm going to replace that and move on um, this one I believe works well wow, barely You can't see anything about my fingers. Oh, I'm so tired of derailing that car. I don't think I'm going to use these for uh, supplies. They keep tipping over. Then an engine can come out of the engine facilities around here. They can come along here. They could pick up that train and then they can go. But the way I had it before, I didn't have this coming in, tapping into the main line. So I had to move the... Um, the chemical facility over just a little bit so I can make this loop and then maybe I'll just put a hill with something there. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But um, this is, uh, th I already had to make a change because once you, <laughs> if I left it the way it was, once you came into the rail yard, you were stuck right here. You wouldn't, wouldn't be able to go any further than that. You'd have to back everything out and then separate the, I don't know, it, it would have been a mess. But um, now it's tapped into the main line here. So now I've moved the chemical facility over this way a little bit. So now I just need to bring the chemical facility um, track in this way to connect to the main line. And then I can go on to the next facility. But it looks like what I'm going to have to do is I'm, I might want to, because this is obviously going to have to extend out a little bit further to be able to connect properly. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, or I don't have to, but what I might do is go ahead and put the brewery here because that gives me all the space here and I can just bring the, you know, uh, turnout right here and then I can even divide it into a couple or maybe I'll put the brewery over there, but brewery should be pretty large. So I'm, of course, so should a chemical facility. So maybe that'll be my paper mill and then this will be my brewery or chemical facility and then one of the bigger ones will go over here as well and then the military base down there which will have to have another line coming into it but we're not there yet so that's where i'm gonna what i'm gonna do now is figure out uh, what's gonna go here um basing i am kind of sticking to my track plan a little bit um as much as i can um However, I didn't uh, figure for the main line connecting in on my drawing. I'm not, or the rail yard connecting in on my drawing. I'm not sure why I didn't uh, accommodate for that. But um, so this is where I'm at. Going to see if I can get this connected in and figure out what's going to go here and probably switch the two industries, make that a smaller industry and this a larger one. I've relocated the chemical facility to over here because um, like I said I had to add the loop in here to for the uh, rail yard to join the main line so I relocated this one here um, now the problem I'm having is my turnouts are dropping like flies um, I have found three turnouts that don't work and I don't have too many more left so I don't know how much further I'm going to be able to get with this. But uh, I think this is going to be the, uh, the track plan here. Main line coming along. It's going to come right straight through here. And then join one single line going. So now that it gives me lots of room back here to do the, um, the brewery area, the brewery scene. So... I'm going to go ahead and continue this on a little bit more and then get my line set up there for the brewery scene. Well, I was hoping to have more to report after today's uh, work, but um, unfortunately I don't. I did get my light put up uh, over the rail yard, so that certainly lights up that area a lot more. 
Um, started working on, I got the area set up for my switchers. Um, just have to get some bumpers there for them and obviously the track's not secure. So uh, this <clears throat> the holding area for my switchers that will be working the yard uh, is ready uh, to get secured and ready for a switcher. And I've got the transition, I believe, coming out of the rail yard meeting the ma main line. I think I have it figured out. Um, I, I wasn't liking the way that it was coming out. Um, it was just too, uh, too curly Q for me. It was like S turns everywhere. It was coming out going like this, coming down here and they're going this way. And I just wasn't happy with it. It was just too much. Um, so pro <clears throat> the problem was I'm out of um, right hand turnouts. All I have left are left-hand turnouts. So I tried to make the left-hand turnouts work for the right side of the track here, and it just wasn't working because it kept taking the track off into um, uh, like an angle. Instead of coming straight through like a turnout does, like this one, because instead of coming straight through, I would have to have the main line coming into this one here, which would cause the main line to come in at, at an angle. And that caused my track to have to come around in like a big bunch of S turns. So I eliminated that. I'm just going to have to pick up some more turnouts. It's just the way it is. Um, I just don't have enough uh, turnouts to complete the, the whole industrial I had area. to walk away from it for a day. Uh, so I didn't work on it any yesterday. So, But I think I got it figured out. I had to shorten the... I mean, I had to uh, relieve relieve some of the uh, some of the curve that was on this because my SD seventy Mac, my Cato, it it couldn't make that turn. It kept derailing the front trucks. Kept derailing right about in here, so this turn right here was just a little too sharp for it. So I didn't quite go as as shallow as the original turn but I did kind of soften it up so it should be able to handle it and now it connects back into the the main line there where I want it to be so um, I think uh, that's gonna be good. <clears throat> I still got to get my uh, my incline over here get that set up and then uh, that's pretty much going I haven't decided what I want to do with the the uh, all my uh, deadline siding stuff right here i'm thinking i might put a turnout in here but i may not be able to because that's going to have to come down at a, a transition and i don't think i'm going to be able to get in there so that that stuff may end up having to go somewhere else maybe way over on the other side of the layout who knows um but now i'm going back into the uh industrial area i think i got the first two um, area set up where I want them. This is going to be a chemical facility. I think I got it set up. I did originally have the two tracks coming on the side, but being a chemical facility, I really, really wanted um, it to be able to have tracks on both sides. So uh, I did that. This is going to be a brewery. I know that's not really uh, prototypical of brewery setup, but you know, it's going to be a brewery on my railroad. And, uh, and then I got this one set up here. This is probably going to end up being a paper mill, um, probably something like that. Uh, but this is uh, where I've stopped so far.